Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. Welcome back, and today I have for you a brand new match of the solo experience, this time showcasing the Samurai, a role feared for its potential one-shot ability, and can be rather difficult to master, as making a mistake on the Samurai can be heavily punished. In this glorious round of Onsel Hakir, I land 8 kills to a huge 1.7 million damage. And thank you all for the continued support as we just reached 2300 subscribers. Enjoy today's video, and I shall see you all in the next one. It has been a while since I last played the Samurai, and I did forget a key bit of information for limit breaking, which lost me a few extra kills, but overall was an amazing round. I do have a general game plan in place, rather risky, but my aim is to play off the team grouping, especially when it comes to the center point. I will be using Purify and Mekyo Shisui for crowd control resistance, allowing me the time to get in and pump out large-scale AoE damage. To try to steal kills and get out, Ogi Namikiri is more risky, as I will be left standing making for an easy target. I will throw these in for extra shields when I feel safe enough to do so, and right at the start of the match as I approach the mid, the very first thing I noticed was the Maelstrom's Dark Knight diving right into the adders, a perfect chance for my very strategy. I follow his play with my very own dive and mass bind. I initially back off slightly, as if the Dark Knight dies, I am the very next target. However, I was left mostly uninterrupted, allowing me to complete the full triple AoE combo, while also stealing at least one kill away from the Maelstrom. Immediately after, I dive right onto the Maelstrom's ramp with another bind. The adders were forced out, and the Maelstrom had much more presence coming in. I took the chance to hit them fast with a large bind to scare them, using my guard to then slink away. My hope was this play would stop a potential steamroll of my much smaller group up top long enough for those down south to come join. My allies took some hits, but as I head up the ramp, I spotted the Maelstrom's warrior going in with his stun, the perfect chance for round 2 of the AoE killsteal strat, and this time I was much more confident in their distraction, allowing me to follow with an Ogi Namikiri, killing a poor retreating black mage caught in the crossfire, boosting myself into a battle high 1. You will also notice I use Shisui a lot, this is because it acts as a mini purify for 3 seconds. Combine that with Cheatin for a bonus 25% damage reduction. You have the idle setups for getting in close, dealing AoE damage, and to get out. Right now, there are only 5 adders before me. With full MP and Shisui, I felt little threat. I take the time to continue building my limit break, and back off shortly after, with the Maelstrom coming in full force, while my team flank to the east to steal the objectives. I stick to hanging around mid. I am confident in my technique. Should I keep stalling out mid? Against so many adders and maelstrom, my team should have no issue in claiming smaller zones. Relatively on my own, diving into crowds allows me to remain mostly unseen. Against two large groups clashing, and my back and forth managed to outlast much of the maelstrom and the adders, who divided their attention north, at which stage my entire alliance returns. So with zero hesitation, I push down their ramp unloading AoE damage, setting up kills nicely for the team, ending with a poor unfortunate machinist who tried to flee far too late. As I spotted my Dragoon's Limit Break just behind me, I popped back in one last time, delivering a cheeky stun just before his demise, and with that our team claimed victory over mid. With mid now secure, it was time to rotate. We had four new zones to ourselves. I already know that most of my team will push the ones on our hill. I instead rotate southwest, in case of any adders who got there early, only to be greeted by a machinist, more than a little out of position. From the north, the adders move on in, and this is where I forgot how to use the limit break correctly. I targeted a summoner towards the back. However, this limit break's damage is AoE based around that selected target, meaning I lost out on a potential warrior and Dark Knight kill. Damage is still damage, and I do not slow down. I might have botched the limit break, however now I am behind a small group, giving me the chance to continually pump in damage. I give chase for a while, until I spot the Maelstrom's clever play. Pushing in from the south, they attempt to pinch my team, halting their retreat on the bridge. Here is where I change my current plan. I now want to assist in my team's escape. I may die for attempting so, but at the same time I may help more players get out alive. I dive in as bait, with much of their attention turning to me. I hold out long enough for my allies to turn on the maelstrom, before needing a full retreat to pop an elixir, seeing the adders going full aggressive across our bridge. I mount up to assess the situation, seeing my team rather spread, so instead I turn my attention back to the main issue at hand, 
their adders in spawn. I wait for their overconfidence to bring them in ever so slightly more, to then dive in fast, catching them off guard. Ignoring the tankier wrongs, I give chase to the summoner, who sadly managed to escape, leaving only a machinist and a dragoon to deal with, who didn't last long, boosting me into that battle high too. Great timing, as the mid-spawn was once again up for grabs. Now with mid back in play and getting close to my limit break, it is once again time to repeat the AoE strat. Seeing the Adders pushing the Maelstrom's ramp, I take advantage of that opening to dive in. I start to back off sooner rather than commit, judging by everyone's current health. Just in time as my limit break comes online, I use Cheatin and Guard dead center to ensure of incoming damage, and this time I make sure to target someone close, landing myself one kill. At the same time, I saw the Dragon's limit break coming in, during my animation lock. The moment I am free, I waste no time dropping off. Well timed as the warrior has also used their limit break to force our guards. After restoring, my team once again break off for new spawns. So I hang around once again to repeat the earlier strat. That was until a group of the Maelstrom once again attempted to pinch. I keep them busy as long as it felt safe to. At this stage, I feel my team's gameplay was great. However, their awareness was rather lacking. They were lucky to escape one pinch. Does not mean they would survive a second. I made sure to ready back up to full since I now once again need to run interference. I use Mass Bind to scare those grouped up, and utilize Namikiri for extra shielding. Then with a well-timed guard, held off long enough to make my escape moments before the adders rushed on in, who then diverted their attention north, except for one stubborn gunbreaker, which I ignore before too long, as now we must push the Maelstrom out of our spawn. We are now halfway into this round, for the sake of suspense, and for you to witness my strategy firsthand, without my fluency in Japanese, in your ears on repeat, I shall end the voiceover here. Hopefully this gives you a general idea on how to tackle playing the samurai. Enjoy the rest of your day, thanks for watching, and I shall see you all in the next one.